Estimation of Length Hey Mintu, why do you look so worried? Look at this brother. I made this special birthday card for my friend. But it is not fitting into the envelope. Let me see. Mintu, I will measure the envelope with my hand span. And it is one span long. And your birthday card is one and two hand spans long. Oh, this envelope is smaller than my card. Mintu, wait. I have a bigger envelope. I will give it to you. Here. Yes, Chintu. Seems like my card will fit into this one. How can you say that? Can you tell the approximate length of this envelope? Hmm. This envelope is as big as my card. Then, its lengths would be two hand spans approximately. That's right. Now put your card in this envelope, okay? This is of the same size as your card. That is, the length of this card is two hand spans. Wow! This envelope is of the correct size. Tell me, can we estimate the length of everything like this? Yes, kids. We can estimate the length of everything in this way. So today, we will use our body parts and other small things to determine the estimated length of objects. Do you know, Mintu, when I went to my grandfather's house during the holidays, he told me that people during the old times used certain body parts to determine the length of objects. People used estimated measures of everything during those times. How's that? Those days, people used the length of palm, that is hand span, length of hand, that is cubit, and length of foot, that is foot span, as units of measurement of length. Mintu, some people use these units even today to estimate the length. Then can I find the length of this window using my palm to measure it? Yes, Mintu. The distance between the tip of one's thumb to the tip of the pinky finger is called a hand span. So, Mintu, you can use hand span to find the length of the window. Do you want to try it? This is one hand span long. And now I will place the left hand touching the right hand that makes two hand spans. Now I lift the right hand and place it forward touching the left hand. This is three spans long. Now I will repeat the process till I reach the end of the window. Like this, the length of the window is six spans of my palm. Well done, Mintu. Now tell me, what is the estimated length of this table? This table looks longer than the window. The length of the window is six spans of my hand. So this table must be approximately 12 hand spans long. Mintu. Now try to measure the length of this pencil with your palm. The length of this pencil is equal to one hand span. Yes, Mintu. Now consider this pencil 
as a unit and now use this pencil to measure the length of the window 1 2 3 4 and 6 the length of this window is 6 pencils long yes so mintu like this we can consider the measure of a smaller object as a unit to estimate the length of a big object wow brother this is really interesting now considering this rubber a unit of measuring the length determine the length of this paper bag okay hmm to measure the bag's length place the rubber at one end of the bag so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 5 the length of this paper bag is 5 erasers mintu now i will teach you how to measure by making your arm length a unit yes fine look the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger is called the length of the arm or the length of a cubit can we use it to measure this sofa yes look this is one arm's length this is two arms three arms this is four arms length so the length of this sofa is equal to four cubits wow brother you even measured the sofa wow <laughs> let's go to eat food now mintu then i will teach you to measure using your feet as unit of length okay friends today you learned that using your body parts or small things you can estimate the length of objects in the next video We will learn about some more units of estimating length. Hello friends. Today we will learn about measurement of things. with different units of measurement of length good morning children good morning sir children today i will teach you to measure the length of things by using the length of fingers as a unit of measurement so first of all i will measure the length of this chalk this chalk is shorter than one hand span So here we will take a unit smaller than a hand span to measure the chalk. Why not use our fingers to measure it? Then the length of this chalk will be one, two, three, and four fingers. Children, did you understand? Yes, yes sir. Now let's do an activity. Mintu, Chotu, and Golu, give me your pencils. Come on. Yes, yes sir. sir. Here they are. Mintu, come here. Measure these three pencils with your fingers. The first pencil is equal to the length of my four fingers. The second is four plus two, that is six fingers long. and the third pencil is equal to 4 plus 4 eight fingers long very good mintu now tell me which among the three is the longest pencil hmm among these three this is the longest pencil now look at the length of this big scale it is equal to the length of 2 times my hand span 
can you determine the length of the smaller scale without measuring sir the smaller scale seems to be of half the length of the bigger scale then the length of the smaller scale should be equal to your one hand span now look at the length of this table it is equal to 3 cubits of my arm Mintu now you tell me how long is this table when you measure it with your arm The length of this table is 1 2 3 and 4 cubit of my arm That's right can you tell me why this happened Yes sir because the length of my arm is shorter than the length of your arm Well done Mintu Now I will give you all a homework which you have to complete for tomorrow's class the homework is written on the board you all should copy it in your notebook okay sir hope you had fun friends today we learnt about measurement of things with different units of measurement of length In the next video we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length Friends today in this video we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length hey mintu what are you doing i'm doing the homework of my school so what homework were you given sir has asked me to measure the length of the room for homework mintu how will you measure the length of the room from here till here with my foot length See if i measure the length of the room with my feet then the length of the room is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 So the length of this room is equal to fifteen foot spans. Absolutely correct. Now write the length of this room down in your notebook. So the length of my room is fifteen foot spans. Absolutely correct. Come on, I will give you a few more objects to measure the lengths of. Okay, Chintu. Mintu, how will you measure the length of this carrom board? I can easily measure the length of this carrom board with my hands, right, Chintu? Okay then. Tell me, what is the length of this carrom board? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The length of this carrom board is equal to 6 hand spans of my palm. Well done Mintu. Now if you measure this carrom board using your arm, then what will be its length? Hmm. 1 2 and 3. The length of this carrom board is 3 cubit length of my arm. Absolutely correct. So we can say that the length of a cubit of your arm is equal to two hand spans of your palm. Now, can you determine the length of this chess board? The length of this chess board seems to be half of the carrom board. The length of the carrom board is equal to six hand spans. So the chess board would be. Three hand spans long. Oh wow! Absolutely correct.
children in this video we saw some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length in the next video we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length friends today we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length hey gotu are you measuring the length of the dining table yes this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 The length of this table is equal to eight hand spans of my palm. Oh, go to! That is not how you take the measurement. Then how is it done? Look, when you have to measure the length of an object, you measure from one end to another end of it. You have to measure the length of this table from here till here. Okay, I have understood. Then one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The length of this table is equal to ten hand spans of my palm. This is the correct measurement. Now measure this using your arm length as a unit. Hmm. Then the length of this table is one, two. Three and four. The length is four cubit length of my arm. No go to. While measuring the length of the table, you have left some space between the two arm lengths. In this way, you can never get the measurement correct. Yes. Okay. Now I have understood. I will measure it again. It would be one. Two, three, four, and five. The length of this table is five arm length. Yes, now the answer is correct. Thank you, Mintu. Yes. Then always keep in mind while measuring the length of any object, always measure from one end to another end of the object. Yes, I will keep it in mind. and also make sure to remember that while measuring the length no space should be left between the units yes i will remember that too okay then let us go and play now okay let's go yes so friends today we learnt some interesting facts about measurement of length in the next chapter that is how many peaks we will learn to count and depict information see you